Hello guys, welcome back to Analytics with Priyam. So in this video, I will tell you about the different charts which are present in Power BI. So step by step, I will create all those charts and I will also tell you about the scenarios in which case we are using which of the chart. So this video is basically useful for those who are in learning phase and whosoever has just started their career in data analytics and want to learn Power BI. So stay connected with this video. So guys, let's back to screen. So I have already opened a Power BI report in which I have already created all the visuals. So let's go one by one. Okay, so first of all, let me show the data. So basically I was having an Excel workbook. So I have imported that Excel in which it was having the three tabs, customer, product and sales. So I have imported all these three tables and for to the calendar table, this I have created. Uh, with the help of a M query. So let me show you how I have created this calendar table. I'm already having a M code for this calendar table. I will provide this M code in our description in the advanced editor. Okay, so basically this is our M code. So I will provide this M code in our uh, description where you can use this m code to create the calendar table in which here you have to modify only the start date and end date basically if you are having a date column in any of the table and uh, you have to find the max date and the min date so max date will be the min date will be the start date and max date will be the uh, end date okay so like this you can create okay lo let's go back to our visual Okay, so let's discuss about all these charts. So the first one is the bar chart. So basically we have created this bar chart to compare the total sales by different countries. Okay, so basically this chart is used to compare the total sales or the total profit for to the different categories. So I've used uh, the total sales in our, um, in our X axis and country in our Y axis. So basically this chart is majorly used to show the top 10 values to show the top 3, top 4, top n values. So let me show you how we are creating the top 10. Okay, for, okay here top 10 is, uh, let me, and for to the value total sales. Okay, so this is our total sales for top 10 countries. So our next chart is column chart so basically it uses vertical bars to show the total sales or total profit by different months so basically when we have to show the total sales or total profit with respect to different months or with respect to time then we have to use this kind of visual so here in the x-axis i have used the month name or we can use the year also so and in y axis i have used the total sales so it is showing the total sales by different month so for to the next chart this is basically same as bar chart here i have used the category into the legend basically it is broken down by category so all the bars you can see are broken down by various categories Basically in this bar chart, I have used the category column into the legend. So these bars are further broken down into the category. So all the different categories is, are showing the different sales. For to this visual, I have used the category column into the Y axis. So for going to the next level, you can click on this double arrow to go to the next level. Okay. so the same bars are showing for two different categories and you can now drill up to show uh, the total sales by different countries so this one is our first level and this one when you will click on here it will further drill down to our next level so let's move to next chart so basically this one is our line chart this chart is basically used when we want to show some total sales or total profit with respect to time. So creating the line chart, I've used month name into the x-axis and 
and y axis i have used the total sales so for to the formatting you can also change the color of, of these lines and uh, yeah in this line in this color section you can change the color of a line and also you can turn off or turn on the data labels we can also turn on these markers so the next chart is our area chart so area chart is basically same as the line chart but the area between the x axis and uh, x axis and the line is shaded so this is basically same as the line chart both are used to show the total sales or total profit with respect to time so let's move to another chart so basically this one is our stacked area chart this one is created by using month name into our x axis and the total sales into our y axis and further i have broken down into the category section by putting it into the legend section next chart is line and stacked column chart so basically it is having the bars and the line also with respect to time we have to show the total sales or total profit we can use this chart also so this chart is created by using month name into our x axis and uh, total total sales into our y axis and for to the for to the line axis i have used the sum of quantity okay so this line is showing the total sum of quantity and this bar is showing the total sales so now let's move to next charts so basically this one is our pie chart so the pie chart is used to show the different categories in the form of slices so basically you can see each slice is showing total sales by the category and uh, this chart is used to show the categories or the products so the products or category should not exceed more than 5 if we are using some of the categories which are exceeding more than 5 so it will look some noisy clothing section we can see the sum of total sales it is showing as 25% so clothing category is contributing only 25% up to the total sales so this chart is created by using the category into the legend and in value section we can put the total sales or total profit Let's move to our next chart this one is our donut chart so basically donut chart is same as the pie chart here we are getting some additional space in the center so in the center we can also use some card visual to show the total sales or total profit it is basically same as pie chart so it is created by using i have created by using a quarter into our legend section and total sales into our value section and i can also use a text box or a card visual let's say okay let me use one card visual let me adjust the height and width and let me put it into the center and in this card visual i can show the total sales let me format it okay let me disable this category label okay so basically in the middle you can show the total sales and so in the outer it is showing the total sales 
broken down by each quarter so next chart is funnel chart so it will show the data in the form of stages as you can see and at the bottom it will show the drop off so our clothing section is showing at the top because it is contributing the highest and our home section is at the last because it is contributing the lowest okay so this chart is created by using a category column into the category section and the total sales into the value section so our next card is multi row card so basically this card is used to show the multiple fields and uh, the summary values you can show here only so our next visual is our table visual so in this table visual you can show all the raw data basically whatever the fields we are having in our table we can drag and drop here in the column section and it will show all the values and uh, the numerical values it will show in the form of sum or count or whatever you will select here just like it is having average minimum maximum count distinct count variance median so this is basically a raw data you can simply drag and drop and also in this you can create a conditional formatting so for creating the conditional formatting just select this visual and uh, suppose we have to create the conditional formatting for to the quantity column let's right click on it and go to the conditional formatting so here in conditional formatting you can give the background color you can give the font color you can give the data bars you can also put the icons you can also put the web url okay so here i have put the data bars so here you can also change the color according to the number it will show the bar width and for to the matrix visual so it is same as our uh, pivot table in our excel so basically it is having rows and column section in the rows whatever you will put it will group these things so basically it is grouped the country and the product name and in the value section it is showing the sum of quantity and sum of total sales so also previously uh, we are having the stepped layout in the formatting section so uh, that has been changed we have to select here as a outline if you will select this uh, compact it will show in the form of plus minus icon and when you will expand this plus button it will show in the same column so if you want this into the stepped layout you have to click on through the tabular section so it will create another column these both columns are grouped and it is showing the data accordingly you can also enable the totals for to the each group okay so here also you can set the conditional formatting for to the different categories different numerical fields just like i want to create the conditional formatting for to this quantity i can create i can create from here so basically if you have to change the color of this uh, the font colors you can use the conditional formatting just like here and you can create the measures you have to create the measures just like it is having the values uh, 1 2 3 4 5 so you can create the measures just like if it is having the values from 1 to 5 it should show some different colors from 6 to 8 it should show some different colors and from uh, 9 to 12 it should show some different colors so you can create the conditional formatting for to this uh, let me show you font color and from to the field value you can select those that measure and you can click on okay so these font colors will change accordingly whatever the 
वॉट एवर द कंडीशन इज रिटर्न इन अवर मेजर ओके ऑल्सो इन द कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग लेट मी शो यू ऑल्सो इन द कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग वी आर हैविंग द आईकन्स जस्ट लाइक यस वी कैन चूज अकॉर्डिंग टू द वैल्यूज डिफरेंट आईकन्स सो वी आर हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ आईकन्स वी कैन ऑल्सो इम्पोर्ट द कस्टम आईकन्स ओके सो इफ यू विल क्लिक ऑन ओके सो इट विल क्रिएट इट हैज ऑटो क्रिएटेड ऑल दीज आईकन्स Let me turn off these icons. So our next chart is a scatter plot. So basically, this type of chart is used to show the relationship between two numerical fields. Okay. So also in this type of chart, we can also create the play axis. So I have created the play axis for to the month name. as you can see i have dragged the month name into the play axis and once you are clicking on to the play axis it will show it will animate the visual based upon the month name okay so our next chart is waterfall chart so basically this chart is created by using a category column into the category section and sum of total sales into our uh, y axis so basically this chart is used to show the initial value it has increased or decreased with respect to our category and in the last it will show the total okay for to this visual you should be having the uh, the numerical the total sales which is having ups and downs so for this i was not having that type of data so i have created by using a calculated column okay so the column 2 this one i have created so basically this calculated column i have created with the help of our category column if our if the total sales if the category column is books or sports then it should show total sales or it will show the negative values for to the total sales okay so because we have to show the negative and the positive impact for to the waterfall chart we are using this calculated column okay so i have dragged this total sales the column which we have created into our y axis so that is why it is showing i have kept up sports and books into our positive section so it is showing the increase for to this uh, these categories and all next all the categories are kept as in negative so these are showing in negative okay and this one is showing the total okay so thank you for watching this video in the next topic i will cover the remaining charts left over charts just like key influencer decomposition tree and also i will cover the paginated reports also this uh, this type of map visuals i have not covered in this video so this type of charts i will cover also i will create one more session for to the buttons and bookmarks so stay connected to my videos thank you for watching